Hello and welcome to this CDP Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we will set up systems to communicate over MQTT. CDP has built-in components for both an MQTT broker and a client. We will first set up a server system where we will put the MQTT broker. The MQTT broker will initially listen to the local host address. This is okay for the purpose of this tutorial. We also need something that we can publish to the MQTT broker. For this, we will create a pretend weather station. We will use it to publish temperature data. We create a weather station system, and then we add a MQTT client to it. We will also need some temperature signal to publish. A sign signal will do just fine for this video. We can use an operator to add 18 to the sign so that it is uh, closer to the temperature outside. In the MQTT client under properties, we can define the broker's host IP address. We can leave it as it is right now because we will be running all the systems locally in this tutorial. Let's set up the client to publish the temperature data. We do this by defining a publisher. We want to be publishing a double value. And we will be calling the topic temp. We can then just root in the value from the sign signal. We are almost ready to run the system. But before we do that, we'll just add a client to the server system. We'll have this client subscribe to the temp topic so that we can see that the weather station is publishing as it should. We can then run the systems and check if the messages are published correctly. We'll just connect to the server system and check out the MQTT client. As you can see, the weather station is successfully publishing its messages. As a small extra, let's create a third system and have it also subscribe to the temp topic. We will give this system a simple GUI. But first we need to add and connect a MQTT client. We'll just repeat the procedure that we did with the last client. And also, let's just give the subscriber a better name. Now we're ready to make the simple GUI. We'll just enter design mode and set up a temperature gauge. For this we're going to use the CDP base bar. And we'll pick a horizontal layout so that we get it in the middle. I'll also make it a bit wider. And let's have it display numbers. We should also fix the range so that it's closer to the value. Let's just fix some small cosmetic details and then we'll be ready to connect it. We can connect it to the temp value using the CDP routing. We just have to fill in the correct route to the value and we will be good to go. We can now go ahead and run the system. Notice that the other systems are still running as separate systems. Here we can see our UI pop up. And there it starts displaying our value. This was all we had in this tutorial. Now you can create your own distributed system using the MQTT protocol. What we didn't show in this video is that you can also use a cloud-based broker. An example of this can be found in the help section in Studio. I will leave it up to you to explore this. Good luck with your projects.